It's episode 100. Woo! Yeah, that intro didn't work out quite as well as I'd hope. I was hoping I could get, like, I don't know, noisemakers or some crap, but enjoy the 3D confetti that's falling through the whole video. Anyway, it is episode number 100 of Woo Wednesday, and today, uh see, I'm actually, I, I had issues getting started with the videos on, on Tuesday, getting them started, because all the USB inputs on the front of my computer <laughs> decided to flip out, so I had to, I was like, my, I lost uh, control of my mouse and keyboard, they weren't working, so I was unplugging the mouse and then plugging back in and it still wasn't working. I unplugged the whole USB hub and then plugged it back in. That wasn't working. So I had to force shut the computer down and then I was re loading Reaper. It wasn't reading my external hard drive for the samples that were in some projects in those tabs. So I'm like, I had to wait forever for that to load till it to ignore everything that was missing and then load it back up again. I had to actually restart the computer to get it to work right. So like that's been fun anyway um yeah so I also yesterday made myself a list of the projects um that I I need to start finishing working on that blanket back there um I started on this this thing yesterday um I my uh paint bucket paint bucket the bucket that has all my art paints and stuff in it um, is out of control. So I need to have something inside the bucket and this need, it needs to, this needed to be sturdy. So it's two, two things of yarn. I'm just going to use up some scrap yarn that I have to like get it done. Um, this is allegedly a circle, but it looks like more like a hexagon, which it's done in a spiral. All the increases are stacked on top of each other. If I would have wanted to, I could have just like moved it over like uh, two stitches and then started that way. But I didn't feel like it because, well, working with two strands, more than one strand of yarn does put an extra stress on your hand and wrist. So that's why I didn't do it. <laughs> that's like I want to just want to be done with that. So I'm trying to get it to the size close to the size of the inside of the uh the bucket a bucket over there and i had started it before and then it just it when i set it inside and i was building up the side of it because all i wanted was just something inside it so i could have flaps over the top to put the brushes and stuff around so those weren't getting lost in the can but uh it wasn't working right it was too big so, so when I put it inside the bucket, uh, the, the, the side of it was, was wavy. I was like, damn, that's too many stitches. So I tried several rows of, um, <clears throat> uh, reducing stitches and that still wasn't working. So I was just like, I didn't really like it anyway. So I took it apart and started over. The, uh, basically when you like do that, they call it frogging. I don't know why rib it rip it out i don't i don't have a clue but um yeah i i took that apart and then started that one yesterday and uh and it's like oh god i need to get that done i've got <clears throat> quilts that i started on that just aren't working right and i haven't been able to get back to them for god uh two years i think so i'm gonna either take them apart and repurpose it or i will just leave them as they are and turn um turn them into like grocery bags the ones with um the wider square more rectangular bottom so it's easier to put um put boxes and stuff in so I need to do I need to do that and it's like then I got the music stuff I made myself a list of what I can do should do on the days and it's like and I'm trying to make it to where it's an hour per project per day instead of trying to do one project and then getting bored to death with it and it's like I do the same thing at work <clears throat> especially when I go to 
fold sheets and fitted sheets. I don't want to be standing there for like 20 minutes folding fitted sheets over and over again because that, oh my God, gets boring. So I've been doing like a couple of sheets, a couple of fitted sheets, blankets, then rinse, lather, repeat until they're all done. That way I have a variety of what I'm doing and that's what I need to do with this. And it also includes uh, mixing my in music production and the collabs and stuff. So I need to get that going because I started, I, I made the list yesterday, but it, to done got screwed up um, because, well, my daughter graduated eighth grade on Tuesday. So that, um, that took up a lot of time. And it's like, I woke up late, went to bed late and I'm like, ugh. I got to stop doing that. I'm in fact, I it's like, it's almost 2 a.m. right now on Wednesday. So I'm going to try and get my butt and the rest of myself to bed by four. That way I can like pick up where I need to on my list that I came up with. So I can start getting some crap done. And if I could just get that drum set the hell out of here, get rid of it, I can move that shelf over there and then move those two shelves down so they're facing each uh, facing flat against the wall instead of having that one turn to the corner and um, I get myself like another stand for my microwave because the one that came with this apartment it's kind of going out it has it's not working properly so I've got you see it in the background that's my microwave it will not fit on the microwave shelf that's in the kitchen. It's too big. So it's like crap. And it's like in the way. So if, when I need to go do dishes, I have to move it out of my way. Or go and make my lunch, I have to move it out of the way. And it's like a pain in the ass. So then I'm held up because I can't. I need to get that drum set out of the way. And it's been ridiculously cold and wet. And then we had that... He oh my god. <sighs> that freaking snowstorm we had it was heavy wet snow and it's like it wasn't really sticking to the ground but it was sure as shit sticking to the trees and and bushes and branches and the grassy areas I was like, it, it, it wasn't the roads when i was driving home from work that night that they were semi decent ish it was avoiding the trees Okay, now, down, like, where I work at, right before getting to downtown, most of the streets on that road are lined with trees. So, I'm like, okay, this is terrifying. I'm just driving along. And then there's this one branch that hangs over the road. Normally, it's, like, way up there, but it was really freaking low. It was so low that if I did not change the lane, I would have hit the damn thing with the top of my car. I also had to dodge some branches that were in the middle of the road. I had to, in, in fact, leave my side of the road completely. And being it was, like, in the middle of the night, there was, like, no traffic at all. The closest car coming at me was about two, three blocks away. So I got around the branch, went back, and it's like, this sucks. And it's like, usually I don't, it's, it, it, if the roads were, if it was just the slippy roads, I would have been fine because I'm, I'm used to driving in that. This, the trees hanging down like that oh my god that was that was terrifying and then you got branches already in the road so I'm like okay I'm gonna have to drive over here on the left until I need to turn right to come home so that was that was that was more stressful than than like driving on snow-packed roads um yeah and then I started walking up to my apartment and then oh I hear this noise and it's like, it sounded like a whole bunch of water falling, but the tree in between the two buildings, I'm turned around, I'm on the opposite side where I need to be the two buildings, this building and the one back that way, um, snow fell off the tree. There were no branches on the ground that I could tell. So when I got up the next day and went outside, to go to work there were branches everywhere all over the ground and I'm like oh okay that had to have happened in between the time I got home which was about 1 30 ish a.m. to when I left which was about 
went outside was about 4.30 the next day. So I'm like, oh, okay. They just got them cleaned up today, but they're in a big pile next to the dumpster. So they need to get a wood chipper and chop that crap down because <clears throat> there's just no way they can put that in the in the dumpster like that. That's just, uh-uh. Not unless they do it right before they know the trash truck's going to be here. But they should really just chip it or get somebody out here to chip it and then take it away so it can be used for, like, gardening stuff, mulch, whatever fun stuff but yeah that was that was that was fun and it's been ridiculous it's been cold the weather's supposed to rebound tomorrow my god because i am tired of being cold and rained on and we need the rain and the stuff but what that was it was like i mean i took photos here's my phone of my car. Let me see if I can find it. Do, 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 do. That is not what I'm looking for. Let me see some. Is this it? Oh, yeah. I don't know how well you can see that. Let me see if I can get the glare off of it. That is a squeegee on my car that I cleared the snow off of half of it off the back i thought i had one what is this oh <laughs> <coughs> yeah i think that was the only photo i took and then then there somebody somebody was funny and then they made like a little snowman out outside right there when you exit out the building on the ground floor but then all right, there's, this is the tree that I was parked next to. can't really see because of the, the glare or whatever. But that was just in the early part of it. There was at least twice as much of snow that hit those branches later on when I left. And then somebody killed the snowman. I walked outside. Oh, no, somebody killed him. But, yeah. Why would I fix lighting? No. Oh. My phone being stupid. Yeah, there was at least... I, I cleared my car off at 12.30 a.m. Got it all, all, all done around. There was easily like five inches of snow on my car. It wasn't hard to clean off, just a little annoying. Okay, went back inside for another 30 minutes to wait to clock out. Came back out. There was another inch of snow on my car. And it was still snowing when I was driving home. I'm not entirely sure when it stopped, but it was, there was just, it was insane. This was the most snow we've had all frickin' winter, at least the last couple of winters. And it's like, I do remember one year when my oldest was in kindergarten, we got, we had, there was, all right, I lost track that year of how many blizzards we had. We had so many, I lost track after six. Um... And then the last blizzard we had was the weekend before Memorial Weekend. And I'm like, it's May. What the hell is going on? It should be spring. It should be sunny. It should be warm. Nope. Here, let's be cold and stupid and wet and rainy. And Did I mention cold? But, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, that was, that was fun. So that was that, was that week took Tuesday off so I'm doing these doing the videos on Tuesday my daughter <clears throat> I guess uh, for Mother's Day got me some stuff got me the frost giant Loki oh, geez I really need to learn how to aim the camera the stuff at the camera from the what if series uh, Simon LeBon from Duran Duran. Now, now, now Roger will have, have a friend. <laughs> I don't know where he's gone off to. He's, um, gone off somewhere. Cause I've got my, my, uh, Stormtrooper mug over here. I have a Darth Vader one too, but Darth and Roger are missing. <laughs> They're both in the same container, but I don't know where they are. So I will find them eventually. And then... Um, this thing. 
I don't know why it's in such a big ass box. But yeah, and you can see, oh, look how look how much that reflects. This is a plastic box. There's no plastic covering over this. So you can like totally see my screen being on YouTube and my video camera. Um, but yeah, this is uh, what is it? Diary of a Madman. I'm not sure why it's in this big ass box other than for whatever this is in the back. I have no idea if it's just a picture or if it's like, I don't know, something. Because it, really, it doesn't really say exactly what it is. I have no clue. I don't know. I have no idea. It just says vinyl something or other. Vinyl figure, I think. At least I thought it did. Yeah, it says vinyl figure. It doesn't say anything about being like, I don't know, an album or whatever that is in the background if it's just a picture on cardboard i don't know i'm not gonna open it but yep got so got some more little friends over here so yeah that's basically been all there is this week and it's like i know i'm gonna walk into a shit show tomorrow at work because i'm not there tuesday and tuesdays are notoriously busy for absolutely no good reason um other than whatever was done not done on like sunday moved into monday and then whatever didn't get done monday moved into tuesday which means i have a lot of work when i come in so i know i'm gonna have a ton of crap to deal with when i get in there tomorrow tomorrow afternoon so much fun um and then i'm gonna put on i'm gonna put in for my two-week vacation because I need it. Um, I need two weeks off to recover. Get my back from hurting and all this other stuff. And I can get some stuff taken care of. <clears throat> I can make a complete dent into all the projects that I've got flipping, floating around in here. I mean, that damn thing back there. My newspaper wreath. I thought I bought... Because um, that was supposed to be my winter wreath. I swore I had light blue paint that I bought for it. I went through all my paint and uh, nope, I don't have it. And I don't want to sit there and mix a bunch of paint or whatever to do it because I won't get the same one twice and that's not what I'm after. So I'm, I'm going to have to buy one. Um, when I go shopping next time, see if they have one in light blue, because then it's, it's not going to have, it's not going to have Christmas stuff on it. No, it's going to have winter stuff on it, like snowflakes and snow stuff, like winter things, winter theme. Anyway, I'll shut up now. Um, yes, I hope you're still enjoying the confetti that is still falling all over this video. Um. Yeah, I had to relearn how to do that because I couldn't remember how to do it. <laughs> um, making the blender particle system seamless. So, And you can't really tell where it starts and where it ends, which is the whole purpose of it. It's just that it loops. And it looks fine, and I, that, was, that was a pain in the butt. And it, I probably made it longer than it needed to be. I started out, I was like, man, I really just want to like make it like a minute long. So I, I'm not sitting there copy, copy, and pasting like I did with the snowflake, the snowflake one or whatever that I did a while back. Um, yeah, I think it was, what, the Christmas one? I think I did it on Christmas. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to zip it. And let's see. How was your last seven days? Let me know in the comment section below. Oh, you know what? I meant to show you guys something. Um, let me let me call it up. Find a a thing that doesn't have anything on it. Um, this one. Now, last week I was gonna do a plug-in video, but I had some issues. I'm trying to remember what it was called. I was looking for a plug-in the other earlier. Um, uh, D S K. Where to go? 
requires. Now I was trying to work and do something with this, but I had issues. And I don't know if I still think I'm having issues with it. So let me just go ahead and I'll put the MIDI in and do this. Load this back up. Now, when I was trying to expand this to show the presets, something went, goes wrong with the window. Yep, it's still doing it. See all that? I don't understand why. Then I was like, okay, fine. Let me just deal with it. And then I selected the preset angels. So, is this still all the way down? Yep. I'm going to play a chord and you're going to hear something horrible. No clue why it's doing that because when I watched the uh, preview video for it, there were no issues. Then again, this is a 32 bit plugin. Reaper is not supposed to have any problems with it because you can see it says 86 bridged. That's the 32 bit to 64 bit bridge. And then it's just having issues. And it's like, I don't know. I don't have my headphones on right now, so I'm not monitoring it. Let me go back to um, factory default. But I think there's also like some, like, what do you call it? Clicking in it. And it, I thought I was having an issue. So I, I restarted Reaper, rebooted the computer and all that stuff. when I was having issues with um, the Keyzone Classic. But this suffers from it. But I can't, I can't. Which is a shame. had my headphones on I could tell if it was still doing it but yeah this it would have been great but there is like some audio issues with it I mean I'll keep it Reaper wanted to update today and I went like uh no I'm busy so yeah any any who let me go back to my full screen so yeah I tried several times trying to get that to work right and it just wasn't going to so I don't know if it's a matter of um, a computer update that is not compatible really well with that plugin. And as you can see, the, the stupid, oh, you can't see it, but the damn, the tack to pin the plugin is still floating there. So I'm just, even if I delete the track it was on, it still stays there. No, I'm not going to save it. In fact, I'm just going to close Reaper. No, I don't want to save. So there's something wrong with the plugin. I don't, I don't know why. I, I don't have a clue. But I will find another plugin to do a, uh, what do you call it? Do a, a, a plugin review of. I just need to figure out which one. Can't keep just doing instruments. You know, because we have there's EQs, there's compressors, there's lots of other stuff out there. Um, yeah. Anyway, now I'll shut up. How long have I been going? I can't tell. Oh, mm. 23 minutes. Lovely. Anyway, um, let me know how your last seven days have gone, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now. Yeah.